Alright, not a great run anyway, but a little bit disappointing nonetheless. But yeah, I, I've watched like one Minesweeper video. <laughs> Didn't really like teach me anything. <laughs> Talked about this like niche scenario. And like how to handle it. Yeah. I just did not. Oh, actually, I watched two. We need to race in Minesweeper. I feel like I would definitely lose. I don't know. I do play kind of fast and loose sometimes, but like... That would be kind of interesting, though. Like, we start a timer and it's just like... Whoever can complete one first. I don't know how good Ali is, though. Has he gotten below um, 999 seconds yet? Because I feel like when I saw his post, that's what his time was. I haven't cleared an expert, by the way, yet, so I have no room to speak, but... I have gotten very, very close. That's interesting. I mean, it's cool. It is kind of addictive. Like... When I'm in bed, I'm either thinking about this game or I'll like start seeing like Minesweeper numbers in my, my brain. The worst feeling though is just making like a stupid mistake because your brain collapsed for like half a second. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's usually how long I play it once I get on it. The time kind of just like slips away while you play that game. It's like you lose and you just start another one immediately usually. You can like study your mistake a little bit, but for me at least when I when I make a mistake it's like, oh, whoops, I literally just wasn't counting correctly. <laughs> that's fun. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, he'd probably kick my ass. <laughs> but it would... It would maybe be fun. I've, I've been picking up on some of the patterns, but I don't know, like, the probability stuff. It could be, because I think luck plays somewhat of a factor in it too, especially at like our level. Just starting out. The way I see um, luck in mine, really, that's frankly ridiculous. Um, I see it as kind of like a bell curve where luck doesn't or luck matters a lot when you're like first starting and you're not that great and then I feel like as you progress and get better it starts to matter less and then you get really really good and it starts to matter more yeah that's how I've lost most of my games so far that's why I feel like I haven't gotten a win yet but I'm wondering if Maybe there's a way to, like, mitigate that sort of thing. I feel like there probably is. I don't know, though, because, like... When I was reading up about the competitive Minesweeper... It's, like, a really good score is if you can beat... 55 games out of 100. And I'm like, that doesn't seem that high. But I guess it does come down to luck quite a bit. But you also get a bonus for time, so like, you still want to be solving them pretty quickly, I think. I'm not sure.
And also, actually, I would imagine that probably a lot of those Minesweeper runs that die out of the 100 are, like, right in the beginning. Because right in the beginning, I mean, you're just completely blind. You can just, like, hit a mine on accident. Alright, this was another pretty bad Enter D1. But I'm doing better about not resetting these. I am not allowing my expectation of what I should do here to, to dominate my real game. This will still be like a 54, which is not bad. Played not great. I think with the luck I got, this definitely could have been lower than 54, but oh well. Yo, what's up, doggy? Did you ever decide on a new name? Because I know you didn't like Charlie. I'm making so many mistakes, dude. a really bad dungeon one but as long as I don't get ultra screwed by Moldorm I'll be okay gotcha If you don't get the heart from that Goomba, it's kind of difficult to get help. Because <laughs> these beetles don't give you any health, and then in terms of bats you have to hope that they just kind of get in your way. And then are in a spot where you can grab the health quickly. Realistically, you shouldn't need the health, but Moldorm can be evil sometimes, so... I keep making that mistake now. I don't know if that's a controller issue or a me issue. My controller seems, like, perfect now, but also I've now also been having a lot of those issues where I'm just not moving diagonally, and I feel like I should be. That makes sense. I get that. I'm having the official convo. See, like there, the heart would have spawned all the way in that corner. So. Would have not been great. This is not a great dungeon one, but we can still be ahead of last run, so that's all that matters. This could actually still be a 942, I think. Barely 240s. We'll see. Yeah, massive run. Dude. Terrible. Just frankly terrible. I failed. I failed. Okay. Can maybe still be a 944? Probably not. It's probably gonna be a 944. If it's a 945, I'm gonna be very distraught. I'm not sure. Line 44, that sucks. 
Aw, oh, darn it. I wonder, is my cat still over there? Oh yeah, she is. She's elongated. I don't know if you can see her. She might just look like a serpent. Yeah, I'm not totally sure why I'm having these mistakes in my movement where I'm not getting the diagonals that I'm expecting. That's a very good chicken RNG again. I don't know if that was completely optimal, but at least we didn't get a hit. Stop. That's pretty bad. I might have been able to manipulate the lake like better, but I tried my best. If we get good D2 RNG, we can be on a better run than last run. Probably won't happen. Wait, no we can't. Well, if I get very, very good RNG. <laughs> okay. Decent enough. What makes diamonds so hard? It's the, like... Um... Density of the... Carbon or something. Like there, there's like a lot of it packed in, or something. <laughs> Cause you're a very special young boy. As I'm talking during my runs, and sometimes when I'm doing offline runs, I think about, um, there was this comment on, I think it was Samurai Man's any percent record for this game, his previous record. Um, and it was like, I wish this guy would just stop talking and focus on the game. Like, speedrunners think they're so cool. And I was like, Jesus, man. And I mean, clearly that guy's in the minority, I think, based on who is popular in speedrunning. But he's like, I wish they would just stop, you know, talking all the time and just let the game play out. And then also, there was a comment on TGH's any percent record of 59.59 that's like, is there a non-commentated version of this run? My young boy, who's seven, just finished this game, and I'd like to show him the run, but there's a lot of dirty language used. I think comments like that are so cool, and honestly, the reason why I do less offline runs is so that I may one day see a comment like that. That's what I was thinking. I was like, why not just like mute the video? <laughs> I guess he thinks his like seven year old's gonna know how to read TGH's lips or something. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, TGH has face cam. Samurai Man had face cam when he was running this game. I think like soon after he stopped running it was when he uh, made the change to stop using face cam again. In the VOD? Yeah, in the VOD. You don't think you, you have seen TGH's face because Zach in the chat adds you and posts TGH spin. So that's just a lie. If only Zach were here right now, then he could post TGH spin. Well, next time Zach's in the chat, I'll uh, I'll ask him to post TGH spin. I'm getting better about doing Villa Skip quickly though, even without the TGH method. That was actually kind of slow. The father has a reason to complain now that you have challenged me. Who's father? Oh, the father of the kid, yeah. <laughs> From the TGH video, yeah. True. Yeah, because I don't use foul language ever. I'm a very innocent, charming young man who is polite and respectful at all times. Huh? Okay. Maybe one issue has been resolved <laughs> with the controller, but maybe a new issue is occurring. Because <laughs> I I genuinely have no idea what just happened there, and it caused us to lose time. I, would have saved it. I like started walking into a wall for some reason. <laughs> Okay, that damage boost actually helps. My menus have been smooth today at least. I move it nice and all. No acorn here. Hopefully no piece of power. Got that RNG. Nice. Good. Actually, piece of power on that specific RNG would have been good. Because <laughs> there would have been no chance I could hit it. Nine's good for the RNG again. Faster setup would have saved us some time, but I can't complain about that one. That one was pretty decent. Alright, no acorn again, because we got good RNG here. That was beautiful. That was very, very good. Excuse me. Come on, man. Slow as hell. 
Very nice. Okay, we're on our own. Not a perfect D3. In fact, we'll probably be losing time here. But good enough. This will probably be like a 350. 355 Not too bad. Definitely continuable. Uh, probably gonna be actually a 56. That orange here. Yeah. 357 actually. Yeah. 2109 is still a nice time though. Like, we're plus 11.8, but my PB had such an amazing start that it's really hard to... to be upset about that. <laughs> And we've got time save, so I'm not worried about it. I do think it's rather odd. <laughs> Sorry for the voice crack. I do think it's rather odd how I just sort of instinctively like close my eyes whenever I'm mashing in this game. It kind of helps me like not worry about the time I'm losing if I'm like messing up the rhythm. Yo, there we go. See? I was just, I, I was talking about that, Zach. Seriously, pressing the TGH spin. Let's go. See, there's TGH's face right there. How does a reply show up? Oh, well, I'm too late. I wanted to see how a reply shows up on the on the chat box. Is he supposed to spin? Yeah, his face kind of like naturally does that. If you watch the World Record VOD, you just kind of be doing that. And whenever he gets on like really good pace, his face like spins faster and faster. But when he's on like not such great pace, so uh, we'll spin a little bit slower and slower. That's crazy to me though that like Dagon has seen TGH's face before you have. Or at least recognized TGH's face before you have. It was showing her the any percent run. Oh really? Yeah, probably then. Because it is a GIF emote with him spinning. I forgot you can do that. That's a pretty good feature, to be honest. Because, especially if you're in, like, the big, uh... Summit chats. Dude? Okay. Just afraid there for a second. That's awesome, man. Let's fix up. Under the time so Dude. Honestly, a miracle that that worked. Just like an absolute blessing that that worked. That could have been a gold, actually. If I, uh... Okay. 
get up there. I just can't get a d4, but we might still be able to be ahead here, actually. My gold isn't great. I really need to practice this trick more. It's just kind of consistently owning me. Let's not mess this up. I feel like I, I think I remember messing this up like twice last time. Which was annoying. Okay. Not terrible. I was kinda close to messing up, but yeah, we clutched it out in the end. And we got the fairy for free, which is pretty generous and nice of me. We're gonna save like six seconds. We won't be too far behind, but not a great D4. Very nice run, though. Very nice run. Twenty six fifty three is a good time. And we've got time save, and uh, we can actually be ahead after d5 if we play well and get decently lucky. And then we've got time save on d6 too. I've been really, really nice at d6 lately. So I'm actually a little bit worried that I might mess up this run, because I've been uh, hitting d6 quite a bit lately, but maybe it's a good sign to be honest. Alright, I'm pretty excited to play this run out actually. Even if it dies, it's a uh, pretty good pace. So. It'll be another run to add to my collection of nice pace. That felt decent, better than average. Not gonna gold though. Unless we get like... Ah! Okay, this is... Bad. Move the Man, this split is deceptively hard, okay? It looks easy, but if you try to get fast, get owned. Okay. Uh we're gonna lose two seconds, so <laughs> get ready for that. Unlucky. <laughs> Probably the least luck based split the run. <laughs> ah, oh, really? Dude? Okay, bad disarmed in there, but we recovered. Yo, Ruben, thanks for the raid. Were you doing runs today or just practice? Oh, hey, Livy, welcome back. I 
haven't really been checking my splits, so I'm not sure if this is decent pace or not. But I don't think it's goldable. Golded practice segments, nice. Yeah, I know you've been uh, big on the 90% grind. Hey, how's it going? How was your stream? So, I, I take it you were mostly doing practice today? Based on what Libby said? Yeah, there are definitely, um... I was analyzing the... Any percent record. And... There are honestly, like, quite a few time saves in there. Like, I think all the tricks are first try. Um... But... There are still some, like, significant mistakes in there. Where you can save quite a bit of time. I really screwed the pooch on this room. Alright, we're gonna lose a couple seconds here. Like, enter D3 was pretty silly in that run. Oh yeah, that's true. You did have good RNG. Dude! Why? Yeah, one blue ball is gonna be tough to beat. Did he hit triples in that run? I think he- no, I think he hit a triple that didn't matter in that run. So he didn't get the cycle skip. So there's a, another place. I still actually haven't learned how to do triples yet. I should probably learn at some point. But I'm like not practiced at them at all. Yeah, it's it's definitely finicky. I was almost a little bit late. Dang. Huh? No, that's all good. I'm actually, I'm not sure if I'm following you either. Nope. Okay. There we go. But yeah, it's cool that you've uh, come back. Because I remember um, you were doing runs a while ago. Um... But now it seems like you're uh, making a return. Like maybe a year ago, I think? We have very, very good health for this segment. Dude, I shouldn't have looked away. My movement today has just been so bad. Oh, two year break, yeah. Yeah, I, I've been kind of off and on with the game recently. I was into Pokemon for a while. <laughs> so I was uh, doing that for quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, that'd be interesting. I I feel bad for not doing a No Hinox Warp tournament um, this past summer. So that was kind of an annual thing I was running, but... And the category actually had a decent bit of popularity last summer, too. But I was playing a lot of Pokemon and being silly. Good. Yeah, there are a lot of good No He Knocks for runners right now. It's definitely gaining popularity. <laughs> So maybe soon I can uh, try running another tournament.
for a bit, I was convinced that second rock was like a guaranteed heart drop because I got a heart drop there like almost every run. It's a little bit ridiculous. Yo, what's up, Sam? Yeah, definitely, I agree. No way, dude. I didn't jump? Okay, this is bad. Terrible. Terrible. We're gonna lose... A lot of time. Like 15 seconds or something. Maybe 20 actually. Wow, that's really bad. It's unfortunate. That's so embarrassing to mess up that fight, because that fight is not, like, that hard. I was super, super good at it recently, but I've just been kind of failing epically. Yeah. Okay, we're only losing 9 seconds. That still hurts. <laughs> this run is no longer good, unfortunately. Oops. Oh well. You messed up today too? Yeah, it's so disheartening to mess it up. It's like one of the worst feeling mistakes. At least in my opinion. Dang. I try to do the menu before the stairs pop in. Not because it's any faster, but just because it's kind of fun to try and time it. Wait, why did I equip hookshot? Dude, I'm so silly right now. Okay, this is a bad D6. I am just playing bad. I still do kind of the baby strat here, just because I'm so... Yo, thanks, Sam. This run can definitely do it. Even though we're plus 12, I mean, my, my PB was super, super good until right after this split, so... Try our best here. Yeah, let's get some bubble 120 showers. Got him. The fails are so low. I didn't skip the screen transitions. Whatever. Didn't save that much time. Yeah, this trick's pretty awesome. I'm a big fan of it.
how did that gold, man? My D6 gold is so lame. Ah! We can do better. We can do better. <laughs> that was not even like a good D6. Like, I messed up my menus and... I didn't skip the tr screen transitions and stuff. Man, I'm... I'm such a dunderhead. Um... Alright. So... Like... <laughs> this is one of the major time saves in the run right here. My three major time saves on my PB are this split. Um... You're kidding, man. How do I keep doing that? Um, this split. And... D2 and Nightmare. Nightmare, I got like three blue balls and screwed up the uh, Ganon fight a little bit, I think. I don't quite remember. I just know I got three blue balls and also did something really bad. Side miss was like fine, I guess. I talked to one sign from uh, too far up, which was a little bit lame. But... Oh, well. I'm not like super nervous about this run. I was weirdly nervous after D6 for some reason, even though this is like not even <laughs> close to my best pace ever, and I wasn't nervous at all on that one. I don't know. Enter D8 is just a very scary split in this run, just in general, because like. Can kind of get screwed over. Mega hard. There. He says one thing? Yeah, one thing. They're all amazing singers. I don't know what you're talking about. It's the best song in the game. So many. Still do it. I just gotta stay focused. Not let myself get psyched up. I wish I had a little bit more water, to be honest. We'll see, man. We'll see. Last stream, I choked in D8 when I was on pretty similar pace to this. So. You know, could die in D8 again, or could die in D7. You know, once we're past D7, I'm gonna feel a little bit more calm, but we're still gonna have to do genie skip, right? Okay, say yes. I must have no there. Yeah, that was a fluke. You're right. You're so right for that. Yeah, the fox is not in our way. Not in our way. Good. 
Apparently you can dash past that second fox, but it does not seem worth in my opinion based on how tight it is. Genie skip is easy now though. I do have a way... I do actually have a visual cue now. Before I was just kind of winging it, and I was getting it every single time, except for in the runs. Um... Whoa. Okay, that was bad. Come on. There's no way I just made that mistake, dude. It's an easy ass trick. Come on. There we go. That's unfortunate. Actually got a good setup there for once in my life though. As long as we don't get owned by the Moldorm, we should be okay. Fuck off, please. So stupid. <laughs> Alright. We're past it though. We're past it though. Let's get it. Almost didn't shoot a bomb arrow there. I would have flipped out, maybe. I know there's like a faster way to do this room, but I just haven't bothered to learn it. LeBron games. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, Blano, don't mess with me, man. Not in the mood. Okay, good enough, good enough. Better than I usually do, to be honest. Not gonna risk it, dude. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I almost fell there. Okay, we're good. We called it! Holy shit, dude. Okay. Alright, this run's pretty good, man. This run's pretty good. Let's try not to throw it. Here's how we're doing against Birdman right now. This is 109 pace, and we have a ton of time saving D7, so... Let's try our best, guys. Let's try our best. Alright. Holy crap. That wasn't even that great of a D8, too, to be honest. Like, we, we can do better. We can do better. Aim for perfection, man. Okay. Okay, I was gonna grab that heart, but it's not. Decent. Area. 
Uh, that strat is not used in Hundo. It's not worth. The strat to get into D8 is used in Hundo because it skips out that first Hinox warp. But you still do the two other Hinox warps. is kind of low to be honest but we'll be okay we get a three heart drop in d7 so I'm not too stressed about it Almost messed up. Okay, we're good. Uh, is this gonna gold? I'm not sure. I always forget how long this cutscene is. That felt pretty clean though, besides the one boulder hit. Nah, barely not gold. Very good though. Very, very good split. Stay focused again for this silly dungeon. I'm actually gonna grab that. <laughs> this we're on such good pace, I, I'm gonna take all the safety I can get. No, dude! Messed up the strat. If you stay, like, decently close to the pillar, you can get the ball to ricochet. Come on, man. Give me a diagonal angle. Thank you. Holding right so I don't fall off. Stuff. That'll work. No, I'm such an idiot. <sighs> Fucking dumb as well. Whatever. It's a small time loss. We got the trick second try, which is good. Very unfortunate time loss there though. I grab the ball because usually it takes me three bombs to do that trick, but it only took me two that time. Um, and that just kind of messed with my muscle memory there. You grab the ball afterwards if it only takes two bombs, and then the switch stays good. But I'm not going to complain too hard. This run is still really nice. I guess I'm just going to keep Bomber as equipped. We have full health, which is pretty dope. Okay. Cool game. today. We're good. We're good. Okay. I 
I guess I can actually use bomb arrows here. Or just regular arrows. Might as well just use regular arrows. I don't really need to use bomb arrows. What? <gasps> Do not throw the run, please. Okay. That was scary. Bombs are on X. Make sure we got it. Beautiful, man. Alright, that's D7. Uh, that is a good time from what I can recall. I think sub 4 is kind of your ideal here, but... This isn't too bad. Definitely gonna save time. Unless we get like a really terrible eagle. Having that extra padding of minus a minute though is nice for Eagle. Okay. Let's do this. Man. Let's do this. Alright, yeah, we're definitely not gonna gold here, even if we get a really, really good eagle. That's kinda unfortunate. So very, very nice run though. Oh, dude, I think I just orgasmed. Fuck, that eagle was good. Alright man, this runs pretty good. <laughs> yeah, we got no roosts. That's basically the equivalent of getting zero roosts. Because he has a, a a move he can do where he shoots his feathers out at you. And it uh it just loses time because you can't hit him. That was very, very good though. I am definitely happy with that. <laughs> Alright. I don't think dashing is faster here. Holy shit, we have no arrows because of that fight. Okay, that's a little bit concerning. I have to play d4 very safe. Um. Okay, that's actually a little bit worrying. Should be okay. This is like the normal error count in any percent, so we'll be fine. My any percent experience will carry. Because I'm worried about this error count, I'm just gonna do the time loss jump here. You know? There we go. Normally I do swag jump, but I was like kind of worried about like falling and fucking up. Okay. We can do this. Uh, am I gonna grab the hard container here? No. I'll grab the fairy and D2. Fairy's faster. Dude, he's dead in like two hits, man. Terrible fight. Uh, am I actually gonna grab this heart container? 
yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm way too worried about my health. We're losing time here, but... Like... I am worried about dying in D2 before I get to the ferry. Plus, the extra health will help us with the nightmare. It, it, it kind of hurts my ego to grab that heart, but... I mean, we, we've gotta. We've gotta. Alright, this can't one away anymore because that was really crappy, but... Still good pace, man. Still good pace. <laughs> Still good pace. But we can't one away anymore. Unless I, like, massively gold nightmare. But I don't think I will. Because I'm gonna play super safe with my arrows. Playing super, super safe there this year. It is a little bit disappointing that I lost, like, almost 20 seconds on that split, though, of all splits. Like, that split should just be the same every time, but... I've just been struggling with it. Cursor is faster there, I'm pretty sure, unless you're, like, a god at using the fucking Pro Controller D-pad, which I am not. Someone utilize Gordo skip, that's a good idea. Alright, we don't have to grab the fairy now though, so we could see a gold here. Which would be kind of funny. Whoops. Okay, it's time lost. No way the keys is doing this thing. Why did I hold dash that? Whatever. Not a great room, but good enough. Still not enough to grab the fairy, at the very least. Still not enough to grab the fairy. Uh, I should probably focus up right now. Easy trick, come on, we got this. Oh, dude, let's go. Okay, man. Okay, man. We can do it. We can do it. Let's go. Fuck, okay. I was actually pretty nervous there. But the practice paid off. The visual cue paid off, man. Okay, all we gotta do is nightmare now. Nightmare is no pushover, though. So I still gotta stay focused. It's not done yet. It's not done yet. All right. Holy shit. All right, we do have a bunch of health though, which makes me feel very nice. <laughs> very nice and warm and fuzzy inside. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, guys. Thank you, every everybody who's here right now. I, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Like, I am super stoked to be able to share this run with you. I was here! I was here! You know? Like, damn. This is pretty exciting. Even if the run dies, I'm still gonna be really happy. Like, there, there are places to improve. Let me actually compare it to the TV. Might be more hype to see the minus two thirty one. Um, like see the beginning was much worse than my PB, but we we really brought it back in the mid game. Started to bring it back in the mid game and late game was just very very nice. 
<laughs> yeah, Rebentus and Ruben, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> Ever since, uh, Ruben, when you, uh, change your name to Ruben, Ever since you've done that, I keep thinking about Rubentis whenever I read your name. Alright. Let's do this, guys. I'm excited. Gotta, gotta mash through this text first, though. So. Thank you, Ruben. Thank you. We got this. We got this. We just gotta do it. We just gotta do it. Honestly, the main thing I'm excited for is, um, I have this friend who was like, uh, you know, what do you, how long are you planning on running it? Blah, blah, blah. And I told her, um, I told her, oh, I'm gonna get rec world record tomorrow night, yesterday. And she was like, oh, wow, confident, huh? And I was like, <laughs> I, you know, I was acting all cocky and stuff. I was like, yeah, I mean, you know, we, we can do it. You know, I've been on the, I've been on so many good runs. You know, it's just a matter of time. And, you know, we might actually do it. <laughs> might as well, we might actually do it. Ah, oh, terrible mashing, bro. <laughs> terrible mashing. Yeah, cocky is the strat. I mean, if you just act like you can't lose, surely you can't lose. Yeah, we. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just gotta, we just gotta be smug. Just gotta be smug. Smug always. It's like Jesus said, there will be smug always. Alright, time to focus up on the fight. Let's just... Nice. Right, we have no arrows. We have the we have the minimum arrows, so we gotta be careful here. Okay, this next one will be a blue ball. Fifty-fifty time. All right, one blue ball. <laughs> one blue ball. That's nice. Like here. We didn't get nine. Took two damage from Ganon, but that's fine. Okay. Gotta focus up here. If I screw up, I will never forgive myself, to be honest. Gonna... Not with all... not with the amount of arrows we have, man. Not with the amount of arrows we have. Come on, dude. That's world record, baby. We brought it home. Is this gonna be a 108? No way. No way, dude. If this is a 108, it's gonna be so close. Come on, man. Come on, man. Please, please, please. <laughs> I gotta with the time Yeah, absolutely frame counting this, by the way. Retimers, retimers. <laughs> Fuck. That's point four is kind of a lot though. Like I don't think it's gonna be one of it. <laughs> But I will retime it. We did it, man. We did it. Holy shit. Beat record by a minute and 26 seconds. Oh, it feels so good to finally get the run. It, it's not perfect. It's definitely beatable, but... Wow, I feel so good, man. Just to finally get that off my chest, like... Holy shit. 
I can't believe I got one blue ball at the end. Ugh, if I risked it just a little bit more on Nightmare, this would have been 108. Holy crap, man. Yep, two out of four world records now, by the way. Two out of four full game records. I don't know if anybody besides TGH and Samurai Man have more than one at a time. Maybe, maybe, man. I, I kind of want to do any percent now. That would be pretty hype. This run is not perfect, though. Like, it's definitely beatable. I can see EDL or Carlier beating this. Because, look, I mean, the beginning was pretty rough. To the end. Um, D4 was pretty bad. I got a 213 there. Both my D4 splits were bad. <laughs> it feels kind of bad that I checked the 108, though, to be honest. Oh, man. Alright. Hype up, hype up my Twitter post, guys. Hype up my Twitter post. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Alright. Thank you guys, again, for being here for this. Like, damn. <laughs> that was very, very nice. Um... Post it in here. And post it. Here. I, okay, I have to, um, frame count this, so after credits, when I turn off the local recording, we'll, uh, we'll frame count it on stream. <sighs> I, I did not expect, honestly, I'm, I'm really happy. I didn't expect to get a, get the run today. And we didn't stream that long either, I only did like a couple runs before this attempt. And I feel like I can improve it some more, I don't know if I have the willpower to... Try and do it though. Yeah, like third or fourth run of the day. It's pretty nice. I hey, I mean I put it in the title. It's not Kafka-esque, you know? We're not stuck doing this forever. We're not becoming one with the game. We're uh Oh, yeah. I think we were talking about Smash Bros. at the beginning of this one. <laughs> it, it also feels good to get, like, a record where it wasn't, like, an offline run. Um, like, my 100% record was an offline run, like, half the time. <laughs> so, it feels good to, like, have one that, you know, is, like... Like, I did it, you know, definitively. Like, I was here, you know, face cam, hand cam, chat on screen be in hype beast entertainment mode. True, to be honest. You know, I'm a, I'm I've been a bit a bit of a germa hater lately, you know, in the past, but you know, he's grown on me. Maybe his uh, soul rubbed off on mine and uh, let me get record.
All right. So I guess it's time to frame count. Goodbye, YouTube. Uh, you'll see the time what it is in the video title.